minutes. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Well, I have to start by uh, thanking uh, uh, my colleagues, Angelika Nibler especially, but also colleagues uh, Kurumbashev and Dante, uh, for an excellent uh, cooperation uh, during those uh, late hours, so to say. Uh, as concerns the issue, uh, I think that I will not break any secret if I say that uh, cyber attacks and cyber security are very high on uh, the list of concerns of our public. And rightly so, we are still vulnerable. And today we are vulnerable against, let's say, uh, attacks which can lead to uh, disclosure of data and other serious issues, but still uh, manageable. Tomorrow, and I don't want to even pronounce it, but it can be a serious threat that can concern uh, our health, our security, our safety in broader terms. And I believe that uh, what we have managed to achieve uh, with the Cybersecurity Act, uh, as well as with strengthening ANISA, is the right response. Now, of course, we can always uh, have a debate whether it is sufficient or not, what this was, what was feasible on the day that we were finalizing the negotiations with the Council. I need to say that I would appreciate if some of the member states would understand better that we are as strong or as weak as uh, the weakest part of the chain. And I think that we need, apart from the Cyber Security Act and ANISA, we need a change of mindset. And that is why I would like to draw the attention also to the latest uh, statement of President Macron and also yesterday seconded by the leader of CDU CSU talking about cyber security and also the European Agency for Democracy. Well, of course, these are still different issues, but these are heading in the right direction. And I think that we have a basis on which we can build on, and I will hold uh, Mr. Macron, President Macron, let's say, to his word in future development as we need to develop it further. Thank you.